Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you take a picture you get a bit of burned highlights like we've got up here. Let's zoom in to have a look at it. There we go, that looks pretty white. A way to check it is to come over here, drag the pipette from over there on top of that and look it says red, green and blue all 255. In other words they are all white. So what I kind of like to be able to do is to select that and then to paint a different colour. Something that's off-white, because if it's white, when you print something, if you're, particularly if you're printing a picture, then paper that hasn't got ink on it looks different. And if, there's, if it's completely white, it won't put down any ink. So you need to have it a little bit off-white at least. So, what I'm going to do is a Control J to duplicate the layer. Now I'm going to turn off the bottom layer so we're only looking at this one. I'm going to go to Blend Ranges here. And we're going to use the left hand graph because we're dealing directly with this. And this, remember, it goes from dark to light this way and from invisible to opaque this way. So this is transparency. So I pull down the black at this end. The whites remain. If I go over like that to this pretty much only white there, you can see here where that is. The problem with it, particularly if you've got the larger picture, it's really difficult to see where that actually is. So a trick to do this, let's go back up there for a moment, is we'll go to this picture and control I to invert it. And now our highlights, white inverted is black. And now if I come down the other way, so I'm pulling down the right node and pulling this away and going to black. And black's just a lot more visible. Yeah. So you can see there are some other burned places there and it just looks, it's a lot clearer. So and I'd like to sort of feather this off. So I'm going to go out a bit there and click in the middle here to add a point and just create a little feather there. You can play around by unclicking linear as well and play with curves but this is this is good enough so that's that area there. So now I want to use this as a mask. So what I'm going to do is click on the bottom layer and then add a pixel layer there so that's underneath. Now I want to turn this one here into a mask of this one. And if I right click here and go mask to below, puts it down simply in the mask position of here. If I alt click on this, there you are, it's still there. It's still a pixel layer, it hasn't turned into a mask layer. But what it does, when you've got a pixel layer like this and you put it in that mask position, it will act like a mask and it, the only thing that, it, it doesn't matter what colour it is, it masks about using transparency only, so the alpha or you know, the, so when I've got this here that will let things through where it is transparent see you'll see the bottom one so what it means is if I go to this one here I can now paint on it so I'm going to go to the bottom layer here and I'll use the go to paintbrush and I'll drag from here down to kind of the yellow colour I got over here so I'll fill in using that so it's a local colour and then what we'll do is we'll get rid of this now if we can always bring that back up again and we're going to paint over here and don't worry if it looks a little bit on the rather bright side because what I'm going to do afterwards is turn down the opacity all I want here is the basic hue so I turn this down gradually there, see it blends in. So all the way it's white and turn it up a little bit until it's just looking a little bit better. We don't need to make it go all the way. So that's about a third of the way up. So a control zero up there and I've got that in there. I could also paint in other areas as well. And do the same sort of thing but just to show you how to do it it's there and let's see the difference is between this and this hardly noticeable but it is a difference see this and this you can just see it in there and that's the way it should be 
because anything more it just looks odd. Anyway, there you go. That is how to fix your blown highlights, putting colour into them. Thank you very much for watching.